Hickok 45 here with a Henry Big Boy. Let's shoot the big cowboy. One, two. <laughs> How about the big tombstone? Yes, Henry Big Boy, and you thought they only made lever actions, right? Well, and single shots. Well, they also make revolvers. Been making them for, what, 10, 20 years? You just didn't know it. Where have you been? No, they haven't. Uh, this is a recent uh, thing with Henry, okay? Uh, when was it? I guess the first ones uh, they introduced, I think, at the NRA this year, 2023, in the spring of 2023, I believe. First I saw them, I know that. And so, yeah, who'd have thunk it? Henry repeating arms, right, making revolvers. Kimber did that a few years back, right? So you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, my gosh, Chrysler might start making computers. <laughs> so anyway, yep, we got revolver. Uh, and it, basically one, I guess, revolver. Uh, let's see, I think it, uh, four inch, maybe it's going to be available in longer and different barrels. But it's mainly uh, available right now, I believe, in just a couple of different grip configurations. The bird's head, like this one, then the gunfighter's grip, as they call it. Uh, more of a, I don't know, classic or standard uh, revolver grip. Although the bird's eye bird's head grips are pretty uh, popular too and uh, have been so yep a revolver yep there you go you got the brass a little bit of the classic look it's a little bit different design it doesn't it's not made exactly like a smith and wesson or a colt of course i guess that would be kind of a patent infringement if it did look exactly like a colt or a smith and wesson and i have to uh, restrain myself when I see something like this from just, uh, oh no, it's not a Smith or it's not a Colt. Uh, and, and I prefer a Smith or Colt, I'll be honest with that. But it, uh, to me, it's not as um, you know, like unusual. Uh, I will use the word distasteful as a, like a Kiapa Rhino or something. Now, I know some of you really like those. Uh, I'm not quite ready f for those, even though they're designed well and, and shoot well and all that sort of thing. This is more uh, like a classic revolver, but but different. Uh, you know, you got the uh, well, no shroud around the eject rod. That's kind of like an old Colt, especially, or even a Smith and Wesson. And uh, you know, the brass. Of course, it, Henry's famous for that. You know, brass and kind of pulled that from the uh, the actual Henry rifle from 1860, you know, that kind of thing. You do know, again, that Henry, repeating arms, the company started making lever actions. When? That's a quiz. Some of you are thinking, was it 1860, 1862? I think he just said 1860, was it? Yeah. No, how about 1996, okay? Uh, so it's not the same as uh, the Henry of, of, of yore. That was actually Winchester, basically, anyway. So anyway, uh, but it is uh, in keeping with the theme, uh, the tradition of, of Henry and having the brass on the firearms, you know, the, the lever gun or the revolver. So that's pretty cool. We all like brass, uh, even on a revolver. Yeah, I have to say. It's 357.38. So, and it, 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 it feels solid. There may be some reasons why I wouldn't carry it, or I wouldn't uh, necessarily be as drawn to it as you might, but being the you know traditional for <laughs> 50 years, you know, in terms of revolvers, double action revolvers. But uh, it does feel solid, it really does, and we'll talk a little about that. I'm gonna shoot this again, I like it. Uh, I mean, I like to shoot revolvers, I love it. So let's go ahead and try some Magnums, all right? Uh, what I was shooting, those are, uh, let's see, Steinle uh, 38 Specials, what I was shooting. Here's some PMC. Let's try some Magnums, okay? <laughs> it's just a four inch barrel. It's not all that heavy, but we'll shoot some Magnums. Yeah, some PMC. Appreciate uh, Wideners.com as our ammo sponsor. Check out the description and you'll see how you can get you a little discounted ammo there. All right, wideners.com. We have a variety of ammo these days. All right, magnums. Let's shoot the target with one of them. Let's test the accuracy. All right. Boom. Oh, not bad. Let's see how they uh, do on pot smoking. It is a magnum after all. Oh, yeah. 
popped him in the top, didn't I? <laughs> That's how I like to see a pot smoke. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I think, uh, yeah, six o'clock hold seems to be what the doctor ordered. Let's see, what do you think, bowling pin? Yeah. I'm gonna shoot the stop sign. I'm gonna hold pretty much in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah, it's a hair, I don't like that. I like a six o'clock hold, it's pretty good. Now I know some of you don't know what that means because all your clocks are digital. You've never seen a clock with a face on it, right? But uh, yeah, that's kind of holding on the bottom of where you want to hit. Uh, yeah, shoots, uh, not not bad. Uh, you know, I, again, it'd be an easy gun to, to kind of bad mouth because it's uh, different, but seems solid. You know, even John kind of liked it, you know, I was a little surprised. Uh, uh, but you know, it's it's pretty solid. You know, it's kind of polished and uh, you know, nice finish. Uh, grips are pretty nice. The walnut. The one thing I, before I forget, the front sight. You know, in terms of where I'm hitting, it came. I was going to have them out and bring them out, but there's there's two more sights just like this screwed on uh, that come with it, and they're different heights. So imagine that. They're not all exactly the same for some reason. So you can uh, adjust. <coughs> you know, your point of impact by putting either a lower or a higher sight on the front. Kind of wish some of my Colt uh, single actions had that capability. <laughs> I'll tell you what, because uh, uh, you, you don't, you don't want to adjust the sight, the rear sight on this firearm, okay? You don't want to have to adjust it because it would be really, really difficult. But the front sight, they've made it pretty simple. Just that one screw and uh, you can, you know. And, it, and, and you know, that, uh, it's not like for, for new shooters, uh, or people who don't quite understand that, why they would do that. The, uh, well, for one thing, it's more or less fixed sights, except for that front uh, option. But depending on when the ammo you shoot, that determines your point of impact, elevation. It shouldn't affect windage, right? Unless you're shooting bullets that shoot around corners or something. Uh, so it's your, your elevation can change. Uh, and I could demonstrate that if I had a ransom rest or a vice probably and you know shoot something here paper or a steel target with some magnum loads and then with some 38 special some light 38 special some hot 38 special light magnums heavy magnums yeah you know, yeah and different weight bullets you know all that kind of thing so you'll you'll get some variation in uh, you know where they hit the target uh, okay <laughs> of course we all get variation where we hit the target don't we by uh, how steady our hold is uh, let's see a little Steinle here, 38 Special. Uh, so this thing sells for, I think, uh, 900 and MSRP is over $900, 923 or something like that. I don't know what they're going for in stores exactly, probably a little less than that. But, uh, you know, Henry has a reputation for making uh, just solid firearms. And uh, their lever guns, you know, it's taken me a while to, to kind of warm up to them because I'm such a traditionalist and I love my 1892 Winchesters and 1894 Marlins and, and all of those for decades and decades. Those have been great, uh, you know, lever guns, 1886 Winchester, whatever. And the Henry rifles are not a replica of any of those, you know, and so I give them a little grief for that, but but again, I don't know, you maybe patent infringements, all that sort of thing. They're not trying to make replicas of them. That's the thing. Other than they do make probably the best by far replica of the 1860 Henry rifle of all things, right? Uh, man, what a beautiful uh, job they did on that, that rifle. So they can duplicate the old Winchesters if they want to, you know, and uh, they did on that one. I don't think they make any others, do they? Replica? I wish they would. Boy, I don't know who would do a better job of making an exact replica of like an 1886 Winchester or something like that, or 92. So, because they've done really well on that Henry. Okay, can I shoot these and shut up for a minute? All right. All right. Oh, that feels pretty good in the hand. Pretty good. Let's kill that buffalo down there. That's a relatively new buffalo. Got him, all right. How about, um, I'm, I'm, uh, I got a little pot there that didn't get smoked. Yeah, I got smoked out. Look at that dust. 
been raining. Good to see some dust. I tell you, the windage seems to be right on with this thing. Well, that's a bad shot, but yeah, that was better. How about this guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, windage seems right on, and then you can affect your uh, elevation, as I said. So anyway, an option. Now, the only thing I don't know. Uh, from a negatives and positives. For me, the negative is it's not a Smith or a Colt, you know, or that design exactly. And uh, maybe it has a little more of a Ruger feel to it, you know. But uh, a price, you know. Uh, all revolvers are very expensive for some reason, aren't they? Uh, well, for some reason, like I have no idea why you charge more than $3 for a revolver. Well, I mean, they just seem to, in, in I don't know, the last five, ten years, uh, you think, well, I'll go get me a Smith & Wesson or whatever for three, four hundred or five hundred dollars. And, uh, and some of the really small ones maybe you can do that with, but it doesn't take much at all for a revolver to, to knock out a thousand dollars, does it? You know, just the, the best part of a thousand bucks. You know? so, so they have gotten high. Lever guns are the same way. Uh, it's just, just the way it is, where someone can make a, a little pocket pistol a uh, polymer you know, pistol of some sort and maybe sell for $500 and it'd be a good gun. It just takes more to, to make a revolver, I guess, steel, wood, and all that. And before I go too far, let me thank Alabama Holster again. Uh, I happen to have two of them on me right now, phone holster <laughs> and a pocket holster. Great uh, manufacturer of little Kydex, well, I say little, but Kydex concealment holsters, okay? Appreciate their support and they do a wonderful job. When I say little, I mean, you know, I guess uh, if you're gonna conceal it, it is smaller in general, but uh, you know, you can conceal some pretty big firearms and you can carry some pretty good sized firearms, can't you? So the flapjack, belt holsters, and inside the waistband and pocket, and the purse holsters, check them out. AlabamaHolster.com. Can I shoot it again? Uh, what else did you wanna know about it? Uh, get a good look at it there, it's kinda, Oh, nice, you know, it's, it's carved and cut well. Yeah, for example, this is, is kind of odd. If you look at a Smith & Wesson, you know, uh, or a Colt, you know, the, the fit, the fit right here is always something that I look at if it's a used gun especially, uh, is the way that matches up. Well, they didn't worry about that. They didn't try to. And, of course, it changes the manufacturing uh, costs and all that. But, you know, it's just different. It's just different. It, it might seem cheap to you. It might be offensive to you. Uh, I don't know, but it does seem solid. Seems to lock up, lock up well, and uh, you know, seems pretty decent. I got to shoot it again. What do you want me to shoot? I don't know. I, 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 I got to show. How about some? How about some lead? Yeah. How about some lead bullets of all things? A lead bullet, <laughs> 38 special. Have we reached out and tried to hit the gong yet? Why don't we do that? Okay. Yeah. So. You know, nice walnut grip, got the Henry logo there and everything. Uh, what else about it? Yeah. Fairly solid gun, seems like. And uh, there you go. A lot of people have uh, developed a kind of a, not a fascination, I guess, but an interest in revolvers and lever guns in recent years that, they you know, more so than in the past, seems like, well, in the recent past. So it's kind of cool. And this is another option. Let me see, uh, so about a six o'clock hole. Of course, once you get out to 80 yards, things change, and I'm shooting 38 special, so I probably don't want to hold too low. All right, I held on the bottom of it and still popped him. Let's try, uh, how about the ram over there, right down from the gong? Boy, I can barely see that rascal. Faded out in the light. It might be going too low. Yeah, it's going too low. Tilt him. I had to bring it up a little bit. All right. How about that green two liter right here on the post? Nice. So, sights, yeah, pretty much predictable and right on, I think. So, uh, for me at least. But it gives you that option, changing out the front sight, like I say. Uh, I'm glad I didn't have to do it, but uh, it seems like it's, it's just fine. But what you would want to do is, uh, you bought one of these, and you all know this probably, but 
figure out what what ammo you're going to shoot before you start messing with sights too much uh again we're talking about elevation uh you know especially if you hand load you already know this right uh or you have access to a certain brand that you just like in 38 special you know you're going to buy that and shoot that mostly you've got 500 rounds of it already and that's just what you shoot in 38 special or you like a 158 grain bullet in 38 special which is like what this is or whatever it might be or you like lighter faster bullets you know um kind of it helps to decide what you're going to be shooting mostly it makes a lot of sense and then see how how it prints with this sight uh and then you can change it out and get it to where it's where you want it and they'll don't change your ammo every week after that <laughs> unless you have to okay so uh, the henry big boy revolver i wonder if they'll come out with a little boy you think they will these are made in wisconsin so made in america henry's famous for that what's their logo or their uh, motto uh, made in america or not at all or something like that so uh, it's not a bad revolver you know it's a totally different not totally but it's a different uh look feel kind of thing than what i'm used to in my my precious smiths and colts and all that but it's yeah not bad not bad uh you gotta like it because it's not cheap uh it's not bad at all so i i applaud henry on on their effort and what they've come up with it's different but it's not offensive it's not uh, objectionable you know to us traditionalists too much you know really Okay. kind of grown on me since I've had it here messing with it and uh, fired it both magnums and 38 special so you might prefer the other grip the gunfighter grip uh, if you don't particularly like the bird's head grip but uh, other than that there I think they're about the same so there you go another option if you're interested in a revolver and as I say quite often you had better be if you don't have a revolver uh there's just something wrong with you there really is you need to remedy that situation at your earliest convenience so henry big boy uh that would be one way to, re <laughs> to remedy that situation life is good oh yeah that's better this is a great gun for defense oh hey didn't see you guys there uh while i've got you here i want to remind you of our friends over at talon grips and ballastall Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it, uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastall. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastall for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastall.com, talongungrips.com, and also while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.